Hero against Princess. Yeah, but this Heading Princess is not ready for this matchup, though. Yeah. So, I so this is the one matchup that uh, I mean, for for starters, I'm I'm Capitus roommate. She really loves this game, but if anything, the only move I ever hear her complain about in this game is Link Nutrier. I was gonna it say is, Link's Nair. I knew it, it. It is because it is because the move versus Peach is absurd. <laughs> Peach literally has to know a Nair is coming her way in order to even punish it. Other than that, there are literally no out of shield options fast enough to actually punish neutral air that is face on shield. I'm not even kidding you because a, not even a turn it. Turn it out of shield is not fast enough to punish it because he can shield it. Here we go though. Okay. Did Jamma? Jamma's up a percent. Got that up smash. Yep. 50% only on Jamma. He's looking really good right now in this game number one. We'll see if that continues throughout the set though, or if Orex has a quick answer, looking like he does so far. Yeah. Jamma obviously having the match of experience with uh, Capitus, really. And uh, Orex, I don't think, has really ever fought a Link of Jamma's caliber, aside from maybe Hockey a small few times. Yeah. Other than that, I don't see him uh, fighting Link a lot. Well, maybe Duo. He might have played Duo once. I, I don't know. I don't think they've ever met each other in bracket though. I don't feel like him and Duo have met each other in bracket. But I know for sure he has played hockey. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I, it's weird. Oryx might have some experience just from like paying Jamma at like Shocker and stuff because I think Jamma goes to those right once in a while. But yeah, Link Link experience can be hard to find unless you play against Jamma every week like Capus does. But. Uh, Orix found an answer there to jam a stock lead, and now we're back down to uh, just about even, 4% separate in the two, and now Orix has the lead again. Uh oh, that was a weird upbeat from Jamma. Yeah, and that's that gonna get to you. Yeah, that's gonna get you a free 30, 40% right there. Yep. If you're Orix though, you'll take it. Come yeah. take that W. We take those absolutely. Good, there, there. Are you, so you're saying that Link's Nair is pretty good? I would agree. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think Link's Nair might be one of his best moves. Let's talk about that forward tilt too, kind of scooping her from behind. Yeah, no. Link has a lot of oh, what did you? options. Wow, Ooh. that was really good. Okay, so Jabba was dead either way. He was just dead. Because that old, because once he pressed that up, he had her shield. Jabba was just dead. Because either he, either he would get his shield broken by the pan because his shield was too low. Or he would just die like he did right there because of Pan. So either way, good, good uh, observation by Oris to make sure that he was just dead. No, Oris played that one really well. That was definitely a, uh, that was kind of a panic up B out of shield, which we see every once in a while from Jamma. Only looks pretty planned and calculated and calm, but wow, that forward is going to come from across the stage off the top. Yeah. Peach, what? Yeah, Peach, uh, Peach, what? She's slutty. That forward air is pretty strong too. Uh. Down tilt into neutral. Okay, yeah, too floaty to really get followed up on by that. Okay, the forward air not gonna kill, but we'll send him far off stage. Oryx looking to try to clean up this game number one in this best of five. See if he's able to though. Or if Link, the hero, is able to come back. Jamma trying to find a way onto the stage, and it can be hard for sure. Alright, you just swing the golf club right back into wow. his face. Yeah. Ooh, trying to grab. <laughs> yeah, Oryx throwing out these grabs. So this Boomerang is actually not hitting them. This is very dangerous for Peach because uh she's a depth percent now. Yeah. Forward smash will kill right now. Oh yeah. And I'll be at the lead will oh, kill. Oh my goodness, send him all the way across stage and he had to do that he to almost, avoid the he had to do that to avoid stitch. Yeah. He almost killed himself too. Yeah. Almost knocked him off the top, but he had to go for it to avoid the stitch that was coming down at him with the perfect angle. Because if Jamma had just faded low and gone for LP, that stitch would have actually just hit him, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. So, but Jamma now 197%. Gonna be dead to just about anything, including his Ooh. own bomb, I'm sure. But, oh, the double grab from Oryx isn't gonna work out for him. Can't find it. And One more good read. Not able to lead into too much there. Up it, up it will do it at this percent, or up tilt. Up tilt will absolutely do it at this percent. Uh, Match Rage Link, you are dying. <laughs> oh yeah, especially now. Yeah, Jamma's found his way back into this game a little bit because Oryx is just struggling to find this like last hit or two. 
Yeah. Honestly, like, after after a certain percent where you're super dead, once the percents are close enough to even, like, you're both in kill percent, it's an even game. Like, there may be there may be a 65% difference here, but the game is even. No, this Because they're both a cut, touch of death. Th this is the Peach problem, because this is where a lot of Peach fans I, 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 I ranted about before this set started. Kind of had the issue. Because, Better yeah... Go. After some certain percents, at high percent, Peach really does not have any confirm whatsoever into a kill. So she really has to make her kills off of raw, like, raw hits. And if it's not a raw hit, and if it misses, then you can get a comeback factor on you for a long while. And if I and if, if I had a nickel for every time I've seen a Peach lose a game, because the op, because the opponent made it to like 200 something percent or 190 percent and she couldn't kill them, I probably would have it out to buy a PS4 by now. <laughs> like I'm not like I'm not kidding you. It's actually been that way for a long while now. Gotta go on to that black and green Daisy. I like this skin. I, I, like, I do too. I don't. I don't see a whole lot of Daisy when I do, and they're not playing the skin. Get kind of sad. I like this one and like the the blue purple one. You know? Okay. Like the tealish oh. one. Those are cool. Okay. Fun fact: Capus actually thinks this is the worst Daisy skin. Capus is uh, just wrong, but that's fine. She is wrong. <laughs> I tell her that too. But the same way she tells me I'm wrong about why I like the gold Daisy. I bought the uh, gold peach dress. Gold Peach isn't, isn't too bad. I don't Gold think Peach it's her bad. best one, but it's not it's not like her worst either. It's not bad. I mean, have you seen Golden Captain Falcon? Yeah. Yeah, no. Peach has him wishing. Yeah, Peach does have him wishing. <laughs> oh my We're god. These bomb combos look like they do so much, but like jamming it like 12%. <laughs> yeah, good roll, good roll back on stage right, Oretz. Mm, down there, and he actually almost died at the new to air. Good old neutral, yeah. but uh, not gonna beat that forward air, though. That forward air will, in fact, do it. You're correct, yeah. Pajama is trying to find a way in here, and he's just, like, not able to deal with this uh, peach so far. Oh! There, there's a way to deal with her, though. If, yeah. if you're gonna deal with her, that's the way to do it. Ouch. Alrighty then. Oh, we'll try to go for the up B out of shield, but or it's grabbing him before it, before it comes out because they have a lot of startup. Ooh. Fun fact, that's still actually kind of safe on shield. Even if you have 13 frames to punish it now, it's still ridiculously stupid because when you bounce off a shield, you can literally just float backwards. They, what are they going to do? Punish you? That's nuts. I mean, you can't Parasol like... Parasol is so good! Parasol is real good. Parasol's nice. Oh my goodness, so is, so is Link forward air though. We can't forget. We can't be sleeping. Link, Link is crazy strong. I think if you don't live in DFW, you don't like know how, or live in Texas rather, you don't know how strong Link is. But if you live in a region that has a Link existing that's like a, a good level player, you're like, wait a minute. All of Link's moves are pretty strong, and his recovery's pretty nice, and like, it can kill you if you be reverse it. Uh, soak out, soak out, Colin. They would like to have a word with you. <laughs> if they have size or. That's true, yeah, no, they do have the head of Link. I'm just saying, if you, if you have a Link in your region, they're a good player, you know this is a good character. Yeah. Also, like, Link lanes are just like stupid smart at Smash, it's so weird. They're not gals who brain out like Pac-Man players. Gals, Pac-Man <laughs> players will always be gals. Oh, you're dead. dead. Goodbye. Dead. Wow. Yeah, killing at 79%. Pretty, pretty nice if you're a Link player. Pretty sad if you're a Peach player. I mean, you're hearing me in my voice right now. <laughs> I think I think Orange might need to buy the power of Capus's RNG real quick. Yeah, we'll see. Because I'm able to get down to it though. He he did get it versus Sleepyhead though. He did get it versus Sleepyhead. I wonder if he'll get it versus Java because uh, offset match versus Sleepyhead. He ended up getting a Saturn and a Babom in a row. Like literally right after he got a Saturn, he got a Babom. So the chances of that happening, a, uh, a Mr. Saturn is actually a one out of 166 chance, and then a Babom is a one out of 250 chance. So oh, combine that, yeah. So combine that together, and thinking about that, you get those two in a row. That is extremely lucky. It was and one really, fifty and one and what? One sixty-six. He's what? close. Yeah, one out of one sixty-six. Wait, for Mr. Saturn, and then for Babam, it's one out of two hundred fifty. So one out of one hundred and sixty-six or sixty-six? One hundred and sixty-six. Jesus Christ! And then a and then a stitch face is one out of I believe thirty. Hold on, we're gonna do this. we're gonna do the quick maths. One divided by one sixty-six. 
is 0 0.006. And then 1 divided by 250 is 0 0.004 times 0 0.006. It's a point zero 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 two four uh, chance that it happens, so that means it's point zero zero two four percent chance it happens. I think. Yep. I don't know. Or it's a point zero 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 two four percent chance it happens. Either way, that shouldn't happen. That should be illegal. <laughs> that should be that should be inspecting the controller for hacks. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Ka tell that to Kappa every time with her RNG. Anyways, we're not gonna see Kappa on the screen, but we will soon because the winner of this one will fire in grand finals. Yep. Yeah. This is the best of five, though. This is the best of five, so we do have at least another game after this one, minimum, if yep. not another two. So, Cap is going to be just sitting back there a little bit longer, waiting to see who wins this set. But right now, Jam is looking pretty clean here in game number three. You got okay. Peach. Okay, okay, I'm going to show my bias now. Or please win so we can see a Peach Ditto Grand Final, please, please. I want to see a Peach Ditto Grand Final. Do it for me, please. I feel, I feel like I feel like Capus would play Mario now. Oh, she said she would do the Ditto if like if she oh, wanted okay. to as well. I feel like she would just do the Ditto for like Oh, you're dead. Yeah. No jump. No float. You're dead. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, Peach Air, Peach Daisy Air Dodge is really bad. Really, really bad. So anytime you're caught with an Air Dodge without a jump, you're basically just dead. I don't know what you're gonna do. Yeah, like, oh, yep, giddy dip, yeah, shoot. This is looking like I'm three stock right now. This is really, really bad for West. Back air out of shield, not gonna work. I think at this point, I think at this point, Orange is just not, is trying to not get three stock here. Down there, wow, that barely missed it. Down there, out of shield, just whiffy. Far bomb down, getting through it with the parasol, parasol protecting Peach. Oh! oh. In, in a three stock by Jama. Jesus, Gandhi Abraham. Jama said, I want to get through you. I want a 6 0 Capus. I want to go home with my money. And I want the tournament to be over. Lesson learned don't ever take Link to FD as Peach. Uh, Jama might be pretty good at video games, as it turns out. Oh, it's not even just Jama. FD is really bad for Peach as Link. At least in my opinion. I think it's a really bad stage for Peach versus Link. I think the stages you really want to get rid of versus Link are um, FD, as well as the Mighty Pinion, even though it is her best stage, I would also kind of pick uh, Spatial. Okay. Maybe Town and City too. Town and City is also like up there, but if I had to pick like two in a row, I would probably pick between those three stages. I think Town... Town for Link is good too though. Like that's the thing is like you have to pick a stage that's good for you. You also have to try to find one that's like not super super great for your opponent. And yeah. it can be hard sometimes. Between those three stages in that case, I would probably uh, I would definitely ban FD and then Town and City. Yeah, for sure. Because Smash Bros is Peach and Daisy's best stage, so I would definitely probably take him to it. If not, then Kalos would definitely work as well. Heck, I probably would prefer Kalos over a lot of things in this matchup. Though it might not be good for a player like Jamba though. Jamba is extremely aware of how Kalos works. Yep. Oh, and... No, uh, that, that bomb okay. trick almost knocked him out. Oh, but got it, caught. It's actually gonna lead to it, yeah. Yeah, got caught jumping. Oh, but you got, got caught go. rolling! Yikes. Welcome to the zone. Oh, you're doing peach combos with... You know, actually, you're doing daisy combos with a remote bomb? Yeah. Okay, let's go, daisy. Yeah. Orcs goes in, I don't know why. Watching a good Peach is so satisfying, because they'll just like get one down tilt and they do like all these like really like intricate like inputs and you kind of sit there and wonder why you can't do that yourself. Unless you can, like you can. I can't. So it's cool oh, for I, me. Oh, I definitely can. I can do way more technical stuff than these, the Kappas and Oris can. They wish, that they, they wish they could do the stuff I do, but their neutral is much better, hence why they get better results than I do. But I can still do the sick tech though. Oh yeah, you can. Your, your tech is disgusting. Hell yeah. Nasty. I know, tech. every every time I play in bracket, I have to, I look at you before game one of the scope. Just I'm like, look, I know you're gonna win. Just please don't Twitter clip me. <laughs> please please don't save the replays. That, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Most, that's how I feel most of my one round one opponents are versus me. Sometimes it's like, okay, they know who I am. Yeah. They just don't want to get put into a Twitter clip because they know that I'm literally gonna fish for down tilt all the fucking time. <laughs> I mean, just don't, just don't do, just don't happen what happened to Luke Castle. Just don't get footstool comboed because Peach has footstool combos. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. Oh! Oh my goodness, that almost killed the top of battlefield. I thought he was gonna activate the remote bomb. Wait. Oh! And he misses Jamba instead. Backer's the remote bomb. Not the. Not, 
Oh, well, that's gonna be it. Yep, beat reverse turnaround on that one. That was nice. Yeah, or it's knowing that that was a mistake. Looking a little bit and shaking his head like, ah, that was definitely not what I wanted. Shaking his head in the player cam. <laughs> oh, the no, Jow had his jump. Oh, all right, that was funny. The down to literally just reached him as he was throwing a turnip because of, and because he threw a turnip, and the incision of her arm ended up hitting. That 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 was funny. That you gotta love it. I love Link Down Tilt. It's so funny. It's funny. It's a funny funny move. There's a lot of funny moves in Smash. Link's Down Tilt and Link's Nair are both one of them. You wanna you wanna wow. know what you wanna know what else is a funny move? Peach Down Tilt. It leads into the combos that go to hundred percent. Peach Down Tilt is nice. Ooh! Easy forward there especially. That's a good move. I imagine. You get forward aired by Daisy, your last words. Hi, I'm Daisy as you get forward aired. Sounds uh, like sounds like hell. So oh, gonna go into okay. game five. Uh if I were Orits in this age, I would definitely be banning Smash 4 and FD again. Or not Smash 4, I would be banning Town and City. Lilat. This actually isn't a bad stage for this matchup. Like, this oh, is- Palu. Oh, he's going Palu, okay. Okay, all right, this makes a lot more sense. In. I was about to say, like, I'm really confused because uh, Lila is Peach's worst stage, without a sheer doubt. Because not only do the slams cancel her flow cancel abilities oh, in her yeah. JCFF, but they have not fixed her bomber. Fun fact, her bomber still phases through the wedge. Does it really? It does. If you don't angle it perfectly, like you're not straightly, like if you're not like at a direct horizontal line to the ledge, you will phase right through the ledge of Lila. It's very fun. That's disgusting. It is. I, I that's why that's why with that's why a lot of PGs always ban this stage because they know if they get into a panic option <coughs> and you try to Peach Bomber into the stage, you're pretty much just going to face through it every time because you're not thinking about that angle whenever you're in a tech situation or you're in a chase situation. Yep. So the Palu is a smart move, especially if you're trying to go to this stage. No, definitely respectable from Oryx going here, but uh, you got the game number five on the Lilac Cruise, like we've been saying. Palu coming out from Oryx, though. I haven't yeah. seen the, I haven't seen the Oryx Palu in, in quite a little bit. I haven't seen a whole lot of Oryx's play lately because I haven't been able to keep up with the scene too much outside of Red Lines and he hasn't come out to this very much, but. Uh, the Oryx Palu definitely is a thing that exists, and you definitely have to be careful of it, but so is Jamma's Link, you can't forget. Although the tried and true Link, that is definitely something you don't ever want to forget. But Oryx has definitely been repping the Palu for a long time now. Definitely his best secondary. You think over the Joker? Oh yeah, he's he's fought to this character way more, and he's won more, <laughs> and he's won more sets with this character than he did with Joker, to be I honest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's one more set. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because he plays him, he plays her and Joker oh. quite a bit. But I'm pretty sure he has more good wins with Palutena than he does with Joker. Uh, I would, I would also, I, I don't. Oh, oh that's the uh, you want. Yeah, Damn. the up air actually, was... the up air actually hitting the remote bomb to Jamma's way. Yeah, that was. He saw Jamma look at the player cam. He's like, that did not go as I expected at all. No, that was a complete accident. <laughs> Uh, Oris also does have Rosalina and Luma, but uh, that is definitely not as well prepared as. Uh, that's like a pocket second, like tertiary. That, that, <laughs> that's like that's like me. That's like me playing like. That's like a fifth and squad strike level play character. Right yeah, there. that's like your fifth squad <laughs> strike. Your fifth yeah. squad strike character is just like. Uh, I, I mean, I don't play this character at all, but they're fine, so why not? Back at coming out here from Oryx, trying to just knock Jam away. Able to chase him down a little bit here. Is Jamma's tanking this percent? He's at 90% now. Oryx is at 13. It's looking rough if you're a Jamma fan. But, Lila can be good to Link. He can definitely get some stuff going. Uh, oh no. Paper grab. Nice paper grab. Yeah. Oh no, 98% on the Jamma. He has to try to find a way to get some like bigger combos. He's, he's able to get like one or two hits on the Oryx, but if they keep trading one or two hits, he's gonna die first. Yeah. 
Uh, I do like the fact that he's also abusing Palutena's really, really insane dash attack and her back air because uh, the invincibility definitely, the invulnerability actually does not lie. Yeah, no, it definitely helps out a lot. And Sora's that up there killing it 130% onto Link, 60% now on Oryx. I don't think he was ready for that insta fall down angel platform. Oh, absolutely not. He's trying to do the rich round. Like if you don't know who, if you don't know what that term means, the Rich Brown, just literally go watch any Rich Brown say in Brawl or Smash Four. He would literally all, he would literally always just take no time off the Angel platform and just go down and attack like immediately or just throw out a Smash attack just randomly off the Angel platform. It's probably one of the funniest things you'll ever see, oh, but for some ball. reason it always worked. Yeah, we're not 99%. Halo is definitely the one problem. Pal Palu definitely. If Jeremy has 99 problems, Palu's probably like eight of them. So, oh, you're dead. maybe not. <laughs> maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe Jamma uh, enjoys Palutena, and he's like uh, the one that's not the problem. Uh, she don't want to say anything. No commentary curse here. <laughs> we'll see. Orcs oh, though, man. so far is at zero percent. Jamma's at 99 percent. Gotta find a way to find some percent uh, onto Oryx here. Get the get these damages closer to even. Yeah, so or far, Jamma, uh, about to say back throw, not not gonna kill from there on Lilat, but yeah, or it's close playing, to this is playing this matchup like he should now that he knows that he has a lead. He's just gonna really just play really really slow and just force Shaman to approach it because That's Link, not do it. Link, while he has some good options, they're not exact. He's still not exactly that great at approaching. So when he's basically forced to approach because he ha doesn't have the lead or he's at disadvantage, it's wow. Really bad. What a read with a new tour, but yeah, uh, that was it, a nice snare. It, it didn't do did. much, but it just it was just like, okay, you got called the fuck in. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it did nothing, but hey, you still got called out. I'm reading you, bro. That's like brownie points. That, that's just like that's just like yeah, that's just like what you do for your friends. It's like, hey man, I can do this. I like how Jamma's playing this really slow and patient. Every once in a while, he'll like break it down and just start throwing out boomerangs and uh, remote bombs from across the stage. And right now, it's working for him. He's finding these little uh, little bit of percent trades right here with Oryx. And again, we're seeing a game three situation. I think it was where Jamma was at that super super high crazy percent, and he was able to make it all the way back to almost even back throw, not gonna kill from mid stage. Bomb recovery? Nope. He's gonna try to avoid a bomb recovery at this percent because I'm pretty sure he knows that if he bomb recovers, he dies. Yeah, it's, it's definitely really hard to get a bomb recovery at this percent on this weird of a stage. Uh oh, Lilat. Dash attack on shield. Not go. a good idea. And we can, we'll do it. Wow. Jamma brings it all the way back after I being at 180%. You did. I caught it. You said that F tilt is what's gonna do it, and uh, you were right. I was literally right on the spot. So now after a game five set. We're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see Jamma against Capus. The Denton Classic. I wanted to see a Peach Potato Grand Finals. I'm so disappointed. This is gonna be the uh, Denton Classic. Yeah. This is a Redline Classic for sure. Probably just all of Denton sees a lot of Capus uh, Jamma. No, this happens all the time. I really wanted to see a Peach Potato Grand. So I'm so sad. I wanted to see this character shine, but oh well. We'll shine another day though. We'll, we'll be back. Oh my god. This is so late. I have to drive my friends up after this too. Oh, it's, it's gonna be a long night, fellas. Okay, I work tomorrow at like four in the morning or four in the afternoon. Jesus. Oh, okay. Uh, I was four, say like four in the morning. Yeah. Like, what are you? Still I know. Doing I almost here? said four in the morning. Oh, <laughs> I was like, no, don't, I, don't, don't be like Ryan. Don't do what Ryan did. Don't do I'll what stay Ryan up did. Stay up all night and go. <laughs> no, just do. Just don't do what Ryan did. That sucked for him. You know that it did. God bless him. Oh man, I wonder if I wonder if he still does that. A shockwave. I feel so bad if he still does. <laughs> Here we go though. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see the Denton, the good old Denton Classic of Jama versus Capus. We saw this in Winter's Finals. Capus winning it, being Winter side, of course. Capus has been in a recent cold slump too, so this is definitely something good on her mind though. She's been uh. Last week, for the last at least like week and a half, she's not been doing really well at all. Like she's been placing like, I mean, she still plays a top eight, but usually you see her place at like top two, like top two or three. three yeah. But she's recently been placing like seventh, ninth, fifth. It's like it's those places that really like kind of make you question it. Like especially last week at Shockwave, she ended up finishing I believe thirteenth or seventeenth, losing to. Uh, Leonine, Leonine, the Rosalina main, aka the Legend 27. Oh, and okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she ended up losing to him at Losers, and she was kind of very disappointed by it, so she 
she kind of had a pretty deep like like ugh, i i don't know if i want to do this anymore kind of episode but i'm glad to see her doing well again winter side of grants is definitely a step up oh yeah it really is especially after seeing her go like like i said 17th 5th 9th like all those places that you really didn't expect her to get in it's good to see her back Yep, no, Kappa's has been killing it lately. Um, and I, so far tonight, at least. And, oh, and the winner side of Grands already has a set on Jamma tonight, so. Yeah. Also, yes, there is bias to it. I, because I am her roommate, I'm going to be happy for her, okay? <laughs> Chill the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Link versus Mario. The old classic. Unless she decides to go Peach, which uh, I don't know why she would. I have no idea what. Yep. Pretty sure she would probably go either Mario or Mega Man because they do so much better. Or if she really wanted to, she's been practicing a Greninja for the past couple of, for the, the past month or two. So she, I don't know. She, was, uh, she played uh, 